Shorno and welcome to Wine Week. I'm Danny. And I'm Brad. And yes, usually I kick it off with G'day, but this week we're doing all Italian wines. Well, at least Italian grape varietals. And Brad, you're going to kick us off with one? I'm going to kick off with uh, a winemaker who has been uh, pioneering the Italian varietals in Australia for quite some time. Uh, this is a Gary Crittenden wine, but the wine's actually made a uh, lot by his son now, Rollo, um, who I actually happen to go to school with. So, g'day Rollo, how are you going? Um, this is the uh, I-Series uh, Nice. So it's a white variety from uh, uh, in northern Italy, uh, originally brought across from over there, and uh, it's taken quite well to certain areas here in Australia. This one's a combination of fruit from the Mornington Peninsula and King Valley. Uh, anise, it's a um, citrusy style white wine, um, but also some honeysuckle type flavours as well. So it's a really interesting style. If you're used to your stock standard Chardonnays, Rieslings, whatever, Try a different white. This comes in at around the $16 mark, so it's really good value. Something different to try, an Italian varietal, white wine. Yep, sounds very good. The, uh, the King Valley, a lot of Italian varietals coming from that region. Definitely have a look at that one. Uh, the next one we're going to have a look at might be the best known of the Italian style wines being produced in Australia. This is the Coriol Sangiovese. This is the 2006, which I think may be the first uh, Coriol Sangioveses to actually go under the screw cap so thumbs up on that prior to that the cork you know we're always a bit concerned about the cork especially at something that comes in at under twenty dollars they're probably not spending an enormous amount on it good to see them moving over Sangiovese it's kind of a nice uh, medium bodied wine quite spicy I often get kind of cinnamon notes out of it along with pepper and those sorts of things um, a lot of plum on it as well Ideally, you might match this together food-wise with something like a risotto with Italian sausage, something a little bit of spice in there, but uh, not too heavy on the meat side of things. Uh, also matches up quite nicely with, uh, say, roast chicken, something like that. So at under $20, this is an absolute beaut. Uh, Sangiovese, you might not have had a try of it. Look, give it a go. The Coriol, very, very well respected in this sphere. Yeah, and Coriol have been doing it for years, a Sangiovese, one of the pioneers of the variety. Mm. Uh, another pioneer of a particular Italian variety in Australia here is the Cape Mentel Zinfandel. Uh, you don't see many Zinfandels going around in Australia, there aren't too many people producing it. But Cape Mentel have been doing it for many, many years and they've really refined it over the years and year after year they churn them out terrific versions. This is a big spicy wine. Now, you, you know, you think of your big Barossa and Shiraz, these type things, this can match it in that sphere. A lot of people um, sometimes confuse the Zinfandel with a, with a big Shiraz. Uh, Zinfandels are quite popular in California. Uh, America churn out quite a few of these, but there aren't so many in Australia. And Cape Mentel, this one is not cheap. It comes in around the $40 mark, but it's a seriously intense wine. It's big, full-bodied, um, you know, a fair bit of alcohol in there. So, look, if you want to try something, if you like your big Shiraz and you want to try something different, one of these Italian varietals, Zinfandel's probably your go. Big, rich, spicy wine and, um, yeah, well, well worth a look. Mm, definitely. So look, this week we've looked at the A through to Z of uh, Italian wines and arrivederci, we'll see you again next week. See you next week.